Hi. It's Red Headed Riding Hood here. Red for short. I'm going to read the daily celebration. I'm on, I got my nails done, see, for Valentine's Day. This is January 27th about goals. <clears throat> there are many possible ends in life. A man's goal may be money or knowledge or prestige or position or discovery. Leslie Weatherhead, in his book, A Private House of Prayer, tells of a conversation which took place in a university common room. Someone posed the question, what do you want to be? Many answers were given, many of them not unworthy. Academic distinction, an athletic prize, a professor's chair, then one quiet, shy, sensitive man spoke. You fellows will laugh at me, he said, but I want to be a saint. Here's a definition. Here are three definitions of a saint. A saint is someone in whom Christ lives again. A saint is someone who makes it easier to believe in God. A saint is someone who lets the light shine through. That's my tattoo. <laughs> to be a saint is simply to walk the way of life with Christ. And that indeed is the true end of life. We must always remember that life is not finished until it comes to its end. The danger of life is that to the very last moment of it, disaster can come. A famous man absolutely refused to f allow his biography to be written during his lifetime, although his achievements would well have justified the telling of its story. He always said, I have seen too many men fall out on the last lap. In life, there is never any time for relaxation. As John Bunyan saw in his vision, there is a road even from the very gates of heaven to hell. Um, it is he who endures to the end who is saved. To the end of the day, there is the possibility of falling to temptation. There is a possibility of undoing the one rash and unguarded moment all the years have built up. Eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. Eternal watchfulness is the price of honor. That watchfulness must last to the end. Um, you can see why I didn't realize <clears throat> because of his writing you can't tell that he believes all will be saved because he does mention hell here. But um, if you look it up online, he was a universalist and believed in the salvation of all and the hell that many talk of is a hell that's right now. I was talking to my daughter in Philly recently and said um, my brothers didn't have the best life here some of them spent time in jail addictions mental illness poverty but uh, they are living a better life now, I believe. And only, um, well, most of them I had assurance that they accepted Christ before they passed, but with my brother Mark, I really didn't have that assurance, but I felt like I got it from God. I turned over my calendar because Mark passed on the 2nd of April and I hadn't turned over my calendar and that year, 2006, Easter was on, was in April. Sometimes it's in March, then in March, sometimes.
and a verse was on the calendar for April for Easter and it was the verse I am the resurrection and the life who he who believes in me shall not perish but have everlasting life and it was in the story of Lazarus and that story had a significance to me and it was God reassuring me that Mark was with him because, um, you know, the story is about the sisters and their brother dies and I won a contest on a radio station that had asked, what did Martha say when they went, when Jesus said to roll away the stone? And <laughs> she said, he stinketh by this time. And um, after I won, I think it was after I won the contest, I won a, I won a children's Christian tape, cassette tape. This is how long ago it was. I, I wept and I thought, they've, they've been dead a lot. I, I was praying for them and I was just like, I knew, I don't know. I didn't know for sure, but I didn't think, I thought my brother Tim might be on something, I don't know. He partied, he still partied a lot, and drank. So I fell on my knees and cried and prayed for them. And so that really had a significance that it was that verse on the calendar after Mark died when I turned it over. And now after reading Julie Forwarda's book, I believe everybody gets a chance to believe. Don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.